Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. A pair of boots and blue jeans on. A pickup truck with a bow tie. A place where country folks will survive. And my pistol on my side. We bleed for that red, white, and blue. We bow our heads because we're taught to. Thank the Lord for all we have. We bring it up, man, we throw a tag. And do it up big in these small towns. Living that country flow. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, and we got a special guest on the line with us this morning. We're going to talk to Nate Hosey. And Nate, tell us a little bit about uh, your uh, association with Scentlock. I, I know I've been part of the Scentlock uh, group forever, it seems like, since the 80s when this first, and hard to believe that. But tell our listeners a little bit about your association with, uh, with Scentlock. Man, you know, through Headhunter TV and, and with what we've been doing uh, over the last, I guess we're filming season eight now, you know, yeah. it's a true blessing to be partnered up with, with Scentlock. Truly, you know, obviously incredible clothing and even better people. It, it, it's been a true blessing for us and, and something that's been an amazing partnership, but more importantly than that, just an amazing friendship. So, you know, it's a company and, and it's people that are proud to support hunters and yeah. we are proud to be a part of a team of, of such incredible people. You know, it's, it's something that, it's truly a positive relationship we're thankful for. And I'm assuming that you've worn the Nexus Carbon Active Weight Apparel, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, you know, just about anything there is from Scentlock, we've we've worn it for sure. And this is new, and I've uh, I I did uh, weasel myself. What are you grinning about, Bill? But I did weasel. Get, I, yeah, weasel. Yeah, I, I did get. Uh, he get, outdoor ridered his uh, way into Nick, something. Nick Andrews from the. <laughs> VP of Marketing for Scentlock Technology. Well, you know, I get the kid size, so it doesn't cost them that much, you know, since I'm... The royalties aren't that big on the yardage. The royalties aren't that big, but uh, I'm amazed at how they have changed over the year. And this new uh, clothing that adjusts to warm weather odor worries. I was, you know, we, we're 90 today. We broke two records earlier in the week at 92 and 91. So wow. y- you're hitting into hunting season. Bow season's going on here right now, and so sometimes you need to adjust to the weather. And I think you guys, if anybody doesn't know that, it's it's you guys because doing a TV show, everybody thinks it all works uh, in <laughs> in thirty minutes without in one take. So uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Right, Nate? Man, and, and and that's just it. You know, the the one thing that is incredible about Scentlock is, you know, the the slogan that we use is. With, with all our pictures and everything we do is proven deadly. And, and that's yes. true because, I mean, they take the time to truly research this. You know what I mean? To, mm-hmm. to tr- I mean, I always say that when, if you go out and you invest in scent lock, it's an investment into your hunt. You are taking all precautions, all steps necessary to better yourself as a hunter, to better yourself, you know, at being successful once you take to the woods. So it's a true investment to your hunt. And it's nice, though, how much time they invest into making hunters more successful. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. Man, uh, anybody can, uh, knows the weather. It ought to be somebody whose company's based out of Muskegon, Michigan. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> Ooh, I know it. Yeah. I mean, those guys know, know all the weathers again. Again, we're talking to Nate Hosey. He's uh, the host of Headhunters TV. And I got to ask you a little bit about, uh, the TV part of this, Nate, because, uh, uh, you and uh, and your buddy Randy Birdsong, and I didn't I didn't realize that you had a a, a true Southerner part of your team is Stephen Scuba <laughs> Phillips, and and he carries Scuba has to carry the camera. Uh, and, That's right, you know Scuba he's he's our main producer and, and editor, and and he's you know I'm telling you he's as good as they get. You know? he, he is. He, he does it all, and you know just a, a great person. But in addition to that, the good thing about it is. We even let him get behind that trigger every now and then, burn something down. So he's kind of he's he's definitely the most versatile one of the crew. I'll say that for sure. Well, he's a good guy, and anybody from Great Greenwood, guy. Mississippi, right down the road from Memphis here, and uh, when I heard Troy Ruiz, uh, yes, 
Yeah, I've I've run with Troy from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. Well, he's uh, he's a man any better that than that. Get, got scuba going here. Is our good friend? Yeah, Troy. Troy, Troy was a part of uh, he was a part of the crew for a few years, and and he's a a great guy too. Just a a true gentleman and a great hunter. He is. He is that. And and your show. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it because you know Headhunters TV. Eight years. Uh, that's a yeah, man, it's been that, awesome. that's a testament. So you must have started w- w- when you were sixteen, right? So I mean, uh... yeah, no, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I, I've been I've been hunting and you know enjoying the outdoors since I was five years old. My dad and my grandpa used to uh, take me out hunting pheasants over dogs, and hunting is just something to me that is. I mean, I, I just feel like there's there's no better way to get out there and just appreciate all of God's amazing creation. You know, yes, hunting sometimes gets a bad rap, but you you guys know as well as I do, hunting is about respect. It's about respect to the land, respect to the animals, respect to the sport and the people who love it. And for me, it's just been something that, you know, growing up, I've always loved. So having the opportunity to promote the sport yeah. on Headhunters TV and promote it on such a large platform within the network, uh, it, it, it's, it's been a true blessing, you know, and it's something that I'm very, very, very proud of because I'm proud to promote the sport with what we do on Headhunters. It's not to go out there and say, well, Hey, let's show people through television that we're great hunters. That's missing the point. Yeah. It's let's show people through television that we love to hunt and that we respect hunting and we respect the sport and have a whole lot of fun along the way with some of the incredible people we meet all across the oh, country. Yeah. So it's really uh it's a cool thing. Yeah. It's a cool thing. And I know that, uh, let me give our folks here, and this this will all be posted on my website, lroutdoors.com. Uh, you can pick up the program on Sunday nights at uh, 10.30 Central Time, Mondays at uh, 5.30 a.m. That's when most of my people are up uh, or co- are coming in, either one. So, uh, But uh, Tuesdays at 4 p.m., Thursdays at uh, 6.30 p.m., and then the, the time that I know Ron watches most TV, Friday at midnight. So uh, that's, uh, <laughs> the night owl. Yeah, well he's a, yeah, well he's he you know he's In, a, indigestion. Yeah, yeah, he's getting over all the food he's <laughs> eating and everything. But uh, you and Randy seem to have a uh, you know a lot of shows, uh, you know, and our good friend Bill Dance here. Of course, he's the originator of all the outdoor shows, and of course, he, I think he's made more money off his bloopers than he's has his real show. <laughs> so. Uh, but uh, you guys really seem to gel. How how's that friendship work? Man, I think the, the the good thing about Birdsong and I is just the fact that, you know, in a lot of ways we couldn't be more different. You know, in the that's ways right. That we do yeah. yeah. But but then in 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 other ways, you know, we couldn't be more the same. Our love for the sport, our, our appreciation for each other and for our crew and and for all that that this industry is. You know, and I, and I think it just works. I mean, it really is one it of those does. things to where you know it started out. We didn't know each other a whole lot, so you know it, now you, you know all of us are kind of like brothers in this whole thing, and it's it, it everything just works because that's what it is. The relationships gel because we all care about one another. We all care about the well-being of each other, yeah. truly, as friends and as people. But you know we care about the overall project and it and it being good and and truly genuine to people who watch it. And I know that uh, anything that's been on eight years, you can go back to that first episode and. Uh, you probably do every once in a while and pull it out and say, boy, look what we did that first year. And it, uh, oh, it's, it's unbelievable. It's uh, As you guys know, with anything that you do in life, you know, time is the greatest gift. And when you can look back over time and be proud of something that you built, yeah, uh, that, that's a true blessing. And, and I promise you, with Headhunters TV, we're, we're very, very proud of it. Well, I know uh, I did notice one thing here, Nate, uh, and uh, talking to Nate Hosey, uh, uh, also that you credit a, a couple of neighbors to helping you uh, uh, get your hunting career off. And I think that a lot of times we forget that uh, it's not just our family that helps us. Uh, we've got friends that have helped us along the line. And uh, I saw that these neighbors reached out to you. Oh, yeah. Growing up, you know, um, as I said, I started out hunting a lot of like pheasants and grouse and stuff over bird dogs and uh, would deer hunt with my grandfather, but he wasn't really into turkey hunting as much. He didn't. Yeah, do you are hunting. the turkey slayer. I knew that. That's uh, <laughs> that's what I hear. So uh, yeah. So I mean, I I started turkey hunting with my with my neighbors. They were big into turkey hunting, and man, once I got out there and, and saw that interaction, especially in the spring, yeah, it was like I was just absolutely hooked and and just <laughs> absolutely loved turkey calling and stuff like that. So. You know, Butch Malatesi and Bob Casella, they were my neighbors, and, and, I mean, they were certified country killers now. I mean, they were 
they were turkey hunting fools and and i owe a lot of uh a lot of the woodsmanship and and things that i was taught through turkey hunting to them yeah well anybody named butch you gotta like him so you know <laughs> that's so, right. uh, well that's not, right. not everybody down uh, there, there, there. <laughs> no not him not that butch jones no no <laughs> that hurts man that hurts <laughs> that hurts bill cooks he's hurting right now uh, oh, look before we let you go and we appreciate the folks at scent lock for setting this up but uh the recording part, uh, the singing part, uh, uh, how, yeah. how did that develop? Man, you know, the, the music has been a, a pretty amazing journey. You know, I've always loved music, but I uh, found the ability to, to play music through a tragedy in my life. I lost one of my younger sisters in a vehicle accident, and she had always kind of messed around with a guitar that I had at the house. And once we lost her, I, I kind of had to, I, I'd look at that guitar and I wanted to play it and i wanted to learn how to play it because i can remember her playing uh-huh. that guitar so the music i i, I want to say kind of happened by mistake but i also <laughs> think that maybe it happened for a reason you know and oh, maybe yeah. throughout the hardest time of my life i found something that was supposed to happen so this latest project over the years there's been so many people who have really come on board with this thing that's been a blessing you know from uh, a, a good buddy of mine that i hunt a lot with up in tennessee red akins who's big in the music world up there and uh, a lot of people up in that town and, and friends have really got behind this thing and helped me kind of get the confidence to want to really it. put something good out. Yeah. And, you know, the America, I know the project, the reason I called it that and, and the reason that we have the flag on that, you know, is I promise you that just like you guys, I absolutely love this country. Yes. I'm very proud of this country. We live in the greatest country in the world and I travel all over it and I get to see so many incredible blessings, yeah. so many good things going on every day. Now, I understand that sometimes within the media, you're going to see the bad, but that's okay. You know, within everything good, there's always going to be some bad. Yeah. Right? We're just going to have to deal with it and understand that there is so much more good in this country. And the America I know is all that good. Everywhere I go, I see, you know, blessings everywhere. So with everything we do musically, as we get ready to potentially structure a tour with this going into 2018, I want it to be an engine that promotes the positivity and the blessing of this country that we live in. Well, so that's the America I know, and that's what this project, you know, was about. Is dedicated to let's just go out and promote positivity. Yeah. And the amazing blessing of living in the USA. Well, you folks go to YouTube and just listen to the song. Uh, it, uh, it it in these times, uh, uh, you know, I'm middle aged for 148 year old man. I tell people, and uh, <laughs> I've seen a lot of this country. <laughs> And and I, I know my uncle was a Purple Heart, won the Purple Heart at Normandy and things like that. And, uh, it's amazing. It's, uh, you know, so this song is, is, is really upbeat. I don't know. Uh, you didn't write it, did you? Yeah, I did. I actually did write oh, it. Oh, right. Well, I didn't yeah. re- realize that. So, uh, yeah, and the production of it and everything. Go go to YouTube because I, I went there and I, I've got the CD and things along that line. But Nate Hosey is not only just... Uh, a TV person. He's not just working. And I saw, man, uh, golly, you, you, you're doing okay with your sponsors. I can see that for most of the ones are the ones I wish I could borrow something from. You know. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're definitely. We are blessed to have some amazing partners on this show, and very thankful for it. I like that. Uh, I, I like the uh, uh, the True Fire Chicken Wing. Now that's my that if I there you go that would have to be one of my sponsors right there you know <laughs> I, I, I would you, like just it. because it's called the chicken wing yeah yeah because it's called the chicken wing here you know and I'm <laughs> of course my a lot of my folks my, you got Bloodline and Muzzy and uh, uh, Archer Extreme and uh, Plan Gear Full Rut Millennium the, and that uh, one that I really like is the Buck Bomb Ambush now that sounds like a fishing lure doesn't it you call the that's fish right, that's right. Uh, I don't know how many. That's something I would there. use. No, that's you know. I'm just a. I'm a man of. Uh, I, He's a gear guy. I, I, well, I love names of things. It's mm-hmm. like fishing lures. Ron knows that, but this is it, man. The, the when I saw that the buck bomb ambush, you know, I want that near my stand, mm. someplace like that, <laughs> or either in the chair with the guy next to me and push a button and <laughs> see what happens to him. But. Um, so Nate, what's uh, what's next for you? I know you travel a lot. What's uh, what's what's coming up for Nate Hosey? Man, we're we're down at uh, with our great friends at Effie Hill Ranch down in Texas, and we're just gonna you know we're just gonna get after him here this fall. We're gonna continue to try to put out the best television we can, and uh, you know create positivity with what we do. And and going into 2018, we're gonna give this music thing a run. We're gonna take this thing across the country. We're gonna figure out a way. 
to get out in front of everybody and and let's have some fun with it. Let's let's bring some positivity and let's remind people that we are the greatest country in the world and all of us who are here you know, we're very blessed to be living in the USA, and, and we should all be very thankful for it. Well, not, God bless you, Nate. Buddy, thank you for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, great job. We'll stay in touch because uh, we, uh, we got your number. And that's, uh, that's well, thank you so much. You five. guys call me anytime. I, I, I appreciate it and, and sure appreciate Scent Lock. All right. Thanks, Nate. All right. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Uh, Going to talk crappie fishing, turn it over to Ron, and then, uh, and then we'll get back in here. Mike Webb is snuck in here because we know our – all right, he's the NRA Tennessee Senior Field Representative of Field Operations. It's the longest title. Can't get it on his shirt, even. But um, Mike is here. <laughs> so we'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. You can find out all about it all. Outdoors with Larry. 